Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Kansas City Royals going up against the Colorado Rockies. First now, pitch coming your way your next. 2022 Colorado Rockies. Just about set to go and towing the slab for Colorado in this one. Antonio Senzatella. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes this stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of it. So just about set now, and stepping in is the speedy Adalberto Mondesi. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And that one lifted in the air center field. And there's one away. Batting second, the third baseman, number seven, Bobby Witt Jr. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does. So now one and two. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed it makes the whole team that much better. Swing and a miss struck him out. That's out number two. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, that slider down and away the from the same side thrower as the hitter. Salvador. I mean, that's just tough. You're Red. looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Ball on a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Next pitch has popped up. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that is that. Royals go down one, two, three. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the first. And our starting pitcher here today, Zach Greinke. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage make his pitches and avoid that big inning if he can work around that he can give a quality start hand this off to the bullpen later on and put his team in a position to win a game bottom of the first now it's the second baseman Brendan Rogers here's a one one that one missed Bounce to the right. Massey handles. On to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Batting second. The designated hitter. Charlie Blackman. Here's Charlie Blackman. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about... You know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Lined in the left center, base hit. Around first, heading for two. Round second, taken for third. Mondesi with a relay throw. The tag, and he's out trying for three. 
The times that these guys take infield before ball games, they work on this play right here. And when it comes together perfectly, nice throw to the cutoff man, relay to third. You feel pretty good about cutting that guy off and keeping him from getting a triple and getting an out. Here's Chris Bryant now. Massey collects. Over to first. It's a 1-2-3 inning for the Rockies. 1-2-3 go the Rockies. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Denver, and yeah, the batter now, Vinny Pasquantino. Here comes a pitch. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Riding to the plate. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The wide to kick the pitch. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Michael A. Taylor Michael a. steps in for the Royals at the belt and finals. To short, could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. On the first double play. The nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. That's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. Next nope, pitch is downstairs. Count is two and one. Inside corner at the knees for a strike. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball three. No score here in the second. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the at-bat alive. Kick and deals. This one bounced to Crone. Takes it himself. Third out. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Coors Field, and here is C.J. Crone. The pitch. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one carrying, gone. <laughs> CJ Crone leads the yard. The Rockies score first. It's one nothing. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up.
when you're lacking velocity it's so critical that you move the ball around change speeds even try to trick the hitter at times but when you give up a home run right there the manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Next pitch has popped up. Massey in position. One down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. That Just got it. underneath it a little bit and popped right it up. Fielder. Randall. Gritchick. Randall Gritchick now. Fly ball right field. Isbell makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. Batting seven. The catcher. Elias. Two outs, Diaz. bases empty. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. The wind of the pitch. This to third. Wit over to first. And that is the inning. The Rockies get one by way of the long ball. It's now 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, on to the third inning, and to the plate for Kansas City, Michael Massey. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground to third. McMahon fires over to first. One up, one down. Batting eight. The left fielder, Drew Water. Drew Water stands in. The 1-1. One, one. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Hilliard ranges to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batting. The shortstop. Adalberto Mondesi. Adalberto Mondesi up to the plate. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And the righty deals. And that's through there for a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And that gets down into the gap. And that'll kick off the base of the wall. Around third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 1-1. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Two outs with a man at third. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. His first at bat was a strikeout. Out to short. Can't field it cleanly. He decides to hold on to it, and a run is in to score. Well, with two outs, I'm thinking he had his mind on getting in the dugout so they could get to hit, and all it takes is just a little lapse in concentration. So now let's see if his pitcher will pick him up. Two outs, runner at first. Next to hit, Salvador Perez. First time up was a pop out. Next offering is in for a strike.
Steel. And now it's one and two. Runner on the goal. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Royals two and the Rockies one. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. So in now for Colorado, Sam Hilliard. Left-hand hitter waits. Well, after putting up a nice Whoa. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And he hits a ground ball right side. Now the throw to first on the run. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Batting none. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but as a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. Runner at first following the error. Next to hit for the Rockies, Jose Iglesias. Check on the runner. Hilliard back in on a dive. Next offering is in for a strike. And the one two misses to even the count. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. And the right-hander deals. On the ground, a short could be two. Mondesi to second, and it's a double play. No matter, number seven, second baseman, Brendan. Rogers. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Two-two now. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. 2 2. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Waters makes the catch, and that'll do it. Out of the fourth, and here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Come on, Rockies! The 2 1. That's ball three. Count of three one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So up now for Kansas City, Michael A. Taylor. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. On the throw, it's a double play. The bat, number one, designated hitter. MJ Melendez. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. Smash to the left side and foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Next pitch inside, and that's ball two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Hilliard under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Hey, 
Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Charlie Blackman. The one, two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Taylor moving under it. And a quick out number one. Now batting left fielder. Chris. And now Chris Bryant. center for a base hit makes the turn and heads for second and the tying runs at second base with a double always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through it's just bigger than your own individual stats anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way it feels so good and that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate and it's even better when it gets you extra bases love looking in at your dugout and seeing the guys fired up and here is C.J. Crone. Next offering is down low. Let's go one more time, baby. So the tying run at second. Fouls one off. Two and two. Bryant, the runner at second with one away. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Softly hit the third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Three two now. The punch out there, and two away now. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tie and run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. Next for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. The pitch. And a foul ball. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Runner leads away at second. Three. Got him. And that is the inning. So one left for Colorado. And our score remains 2-1. All set for the start of the inning. And to the plate for Kansas City, Michael Massey. Payoff pitch. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one hops against the fence. And that's a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Next up for the Royals, Drew Waters. Swing and a ball popped up, and that's a base hit. Messi coming home. He will score, and they take a two-run lead. Well done, drives in the run. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Now, Kyle Isbell. 
Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. He's got it. And there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Mondesi. Now it's the shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The third baseman, number seven. Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. The next offering misses and a count two and one. And he deals. That one fouled off two and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Next offering is downstairs. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three and two now. Base knock center field. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now, Salvador Perez. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. This one chopped up the middle. Fires over to Crone. That's the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back here in Denver, bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Randall Gritchick. There we go. Little dribbler up along third, and he grabs it foul. The pitch. Stays alive. And a ball in two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Elias Diaz catcher, digs in now. First time up, he oh, grounded to third. This Diaz. is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out and a count one and two one down base is empty lifted in the air out to left waters should have this one calls it in to away up next for Colorado the center fielder there. Two outs, base is empty. Hilliard. And now the center fielder, Sam Hilliard. 0 for 1 as he reached on an error his first time around. Two down, nobody on. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The one two. Just off the inside edge. And a pitch. That one inside counts full three and two. Up the middle to first, and that is that. Rockies are down quietly, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Back here at Coors Field, and now it's going to be Vinny Pasquantino. And here it comes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hilliard gliding as he moves to his left. Makes the grab on the run. One up, one down. That's just a really nice now catch have. on the, the run right field. there. He saved Michael extra bases a. for sure. Field. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Michael A. Taylor steps in for the Royals. And a count one and two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down. I got this. The batter, number one, designated hitter, MJ Melendez. So here's the Royals DH, MJ Melendez. Up the middle, Rogers picks it up. That's out number three. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Royals three and the Rockies one. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Fouls one off, two and two. And a pitch. Rips one to right, base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself no into a good Number count. Seven. Anytime you Second rip a line man. drive the other way, you feel really good about you what you did good. at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some more. To second, there's one. How about that double play? Now back, the designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Charlie Blackman, one for two. Left field, Waters gliding to his right, pulls it in on the run, and that'll do it. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Lucas Gilbert. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Lucas Gilbert. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. 
The Rockies have some action in the pen. Denelson Lamette getting ready to come on for Bud Black. pitch in the dirt two balls two strikes in the air left side Bryant gliding back and there's one down the batter the left fielder drew Water. Drew Waters steps in for the Royals. The 2 1. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. We usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And here is Kyle Isbell. Going to count one and two. Yeah, that's outside. The 2 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Royals. And the score stays 3 to 1. Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Leading off, Chris Bryant. Line drive, makes the catch, one down. Now batting, first baseman, C.J. Crone. C.J. Crone digging in for the Rockies. Well, you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next pitch misses way outside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. That's what the fans came to see. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 3 2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. One out, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. The tying run at the plate. And misses inside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that puts the tying run on base. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. On the mound now, Scott Barlow. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 58, Scott Barlow.
Randall Gritchick digging in for the Rockies. The one two. Roll to short could be two. Off balance speed there's one. High throw to first and he can't reach it. Well he hung in there at second to get the out but the return throw to first is way offline. Oh, yeah. And I have to think the runner coming yeah. in second had a part in that. You can't assume the double play but because the batter moves up past first he does get charged with the throwing error right there. And now it's Elias Diaz. And it's second. And a ball evens the count. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tyler Kinley, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Back here in Denver, we're at the top of the eighth. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals at Alberto Mondesi. And a 1-1. He'll do it himself. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now batting, third baseman, Bobby Witt Jr. Now the number two hitter, Bobby Witt Jr., one for three. Good, so a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. That one the other way. He's got it. There's two away. Now batting, catcher, Salvador Perez. Two outs, base is empty. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Royals bats are quiet there, but they're up three to two. So Your now a pinch leader. hitter, Jonathan Daza. Big spot for him Number here. Two. Jonathan Daza. Looking to get the tying run on base. Pitch in the dirt, and that's ball two. to right Isbell on the move and he makes the grab one away the batter number 11 shortstop Jose. Dylan Coleman Dylan comes on now You're he's into the game with the bases empty now pitching for Kansas City number 65 Dylan Coleman At the play, Jose Iglesias. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Josh Stamont, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Here comes a pitch. Now this is a rocket to left. 
Waters right there to make the grab. Two up, two down. Fell off the bat. It looked like they no might get that tying seven. run on Second base, base maybe even extra yeah, bases. Yeah. No dice, though. A little yeah, unlucky yeah. on that one. So the batting order turns over. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. And the pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Massey makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Rockies, and it's still a 3-2 ball game. So remaining in the game defensively, Yonathan Daza. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Now playing center. Back here at Coors Field. Now at the plate, Vinny Pasquantino. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now one away. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. Now At worst-case scenario, it's fielder. weak contact Michael in play. A exactly fielder. where he and the catcher wanted it. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Righty delivers. 3-2 now. Kicks and deals. And there's ball four. The batter. One down. One. Next designated is the designated hitter, hitter MJ, MJ Melendez. Melendez. Kicks and fires. Foul ball there. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. What a roller coaster at bat. It was a great battle to run the count full, but ended up being kind of an ugly finish to that AB. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Next pitch is outside. Left hand batter waits. And that'll load the bases. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. If they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. One out, base is loaded. So up now for Kansas City, Drew Waters. The 2 1. That one ripped right center field. One run is in, and it's off the wall. They add on as the run scores all the way from first, and they lead by four. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage oh, counts where batting averages are just so much higher. They hit the ball so well right there, and I really thought it was going to carry out of here, but that's definitely the big part of the yard, and you just really have to get a hold of one to drive it out in that part of the ballpark. But you can't be mad about driving one off the wall. So they turn things over to the righty, Denelson Lamette. He'll try to strand the runner at second. And now the right fielder, Kyle Isbell. Next one off the plate inside. Two and one. This one in the air right field. Richard pulls it down. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. How about the Stepping Alberto. in is the switch hitting shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. Right, 
The 1 1. Just missed. And a 2 1 on the way. There's a strike. Waters at second with two down. That one misses. And the count's full. Gritchick as he glides to his left. Brings it in. And that'll do it. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the nine. It's the Royals six and the Rockies two. We head to the bottom of the ninth, and now the DH, Charlie Blackman. The Rockies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid-off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. And now the count is even. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Anthony Misevich up and getting ready for Mike Matheny. Love lady getting cranked up as well. Right-hander kicks deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next one misses three and two now. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. He saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Josh Stamont will take over here. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So digging in, Chris Bryant. Next offering is fouled back. Out to short. Mondesi fires over to first. Bryant out of the play. The bat, the first baseman. CJ Crone. The wind of the pitch. Crone, oh. the next to hit, takes outside. The wind of the pitch. That's outside. Three balls and a strike. pitch this one in the air center field is Bell on the move and puts the squeeze on it that's out number two now batting third baseman Ryan McMahon. so in now for Colorado Ryan McMahon and when you talk about elite defensive third baseman this guy is at the top of the list the wide to kick the pitch that one ran inside, almost got him. Stunt. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. The 2-2. And down on strikes he goes. That's the ball game. 
Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 6 3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.